Guys, we have made it to Aromas. It's a little difficult to get to because they're doing some renovations in one of the parking lots, but we found it and I'm very excited for some coffee and some pastries. Aroma. Yeah, so I looked up some places like before we came on vacation and this was one spot that I really wanted to go to because it just seemed like a legitimate coffee shop with yeah. like a lot of different options and not just like your typical quick Duncan Starbucks right. type thing. It's so. very eclectic inside. It was yeah. Really, really awesome atmosphere. Yeah, and they, they seemed to have like cool drink options and stuff. They had a lot of different chai flavors, which yeah. I was excited and about. I just was, got spice. And then they had a lot of pastries. What did you get? I got, my sister got a cookie and a giant cookie, my sister got a giant cookie and I got a brownie. Brownie. And we got That's a right. strawberries and cream scone. Strawberries and cream scone, very They're, good. So I tried a piece of her brownie and a piece of the cookie. Everything mm -hmm. was great. So. I feel like if you're looking for a good, like they have food, yeah. but a good like bakery and coffee shop or a place to grab some lunch, this is a good spot. Yeah. Very delicious. My spice chai is perfect. Oh, and my Snickers latte is amazing. Mm. So check out Aroma Coffee Cafe and Bake Shop. Yep. All right, we are inside White Candy Company in Williamsburg. We're checking out some different candies that we're gonna get, um, mostly gummy candies because that's like our favorite. And if we were to get any of these like truffles or anything like that that you see here, they will melt before we can get them home. So over here they're making fudge, which again, I would love to eat, but I would have to eat it all right now and get a bellyache. Hey. <laughs> what 
That's the noise they make, Lim. You're so cute. Wow. Look at Look at the lammy. Hi, little lammy. Ah! Oh, yeah. Hi, lamb. Let me feel your pull. Oh, your wool is so good. What's going on, everybody? We decided to take a little break because it's very hot out. Yes. And it is lunchtime. Yes. So this was one of the places I made an itinerary before we came and I had a list of restaurants that we wanted to try. This is one, Dog Street Pub. It's actually really cool in here. I pictured it to be like all the other pubs that we go to that are usually like dark and like dark wood and yeah, like more of like that Irish or like English pub style. Right, it's, it's a like lot of windows. fancy in here. Yeah. It's Pretty. A lot of windows, mirrors, um, very nice colors. Here, I'll, I'll spin you around. You can take a look around real quick. Say hi. Hi, Mimi. So the food here sounded really good. It's like, some of it's kind of different. Yeah, a little English style food. Um, it, it's kind of all over the place. The kids menu is typical kids menu stuff, so don't worry about if you have picky eaters, say yeah. burgers, hot dogs, grilled cheese. She got a buttered pasta. Um, yeah. So we got three different things. We got three appetizers, yeah. kind of like we always do. Um, we're going to share those. So we got the wings. Um, normally we, we do love wings. Des saw a plate of them as we were walking in. Good. So we had to try them. Um, we also got a beer cheese, like a, um, a warm beer cheese. They were gonna dip um, naan. Yeah. Naan. Yeah. And what else did we get? The, the Reuben Croquet. Reuben Croquet. I don't know, I call them Croquet, like the game. So that's something a little bit different. Yeah, so, so it was we're like gonna try that. Yeah. Sauerkraut stuff inside, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. They also had a Welsh rare bit. Um, we didn't get it, but we were like thinking about yeah. it so that was like a sourdough bread with like a horseradish cheese on top right? i think it's just i think it's just like a cheese plate with someone bread would get it and i could spy <laughs> but yeah we weren't sure we we were vibing with the beer cheese yeah. more so we're just waiting for everything to come out oh and we got drinks we i got drinks. like a sparkling champagne it's good, yeah it was like a sparkling wine um i got a sour beer <laughs> from a local virginia brewery called mustang sally um we'll try that and then what I noticed, they also serve mead. And we've been wanting to see that there's a lot of mead, yeah. meaderies around here, is that what they're called? So yeah, I'm gonna try that. And it is called, I can't pronounce it, so I'm gonna show you. You're sitting over here, right? I don't know if you can see that. Looks, Ikilika, Ikilika mead, African dry mead, spicy with honey and fruits. So, so I'm gonna we give might it a try. go to the one like mead place. Yes. So we're gonna try. We're gonna. There is a place around here, um, Silver Hand Meadery. Um, they make mead in the traditional way that it was made with honey and yeast and fruits. Um, yeah. So check that'll it be out. like on the way back to our hotel. Yeah, that'd All be right. really neat. So we're just waiting for everything to come out. Yep. All right, so some of the food has started to come out. I'm gonna have you listen to what Lunabelle got from Lunabelle herself. So I got a little thing here. What is it, honey? So it is a butter noodles with Parmesan. Mm. And we, mom hasn't got our food yet, but we're gonna show you So this is the Ooh. beer cheese with the baked toasted naan. All right, so the rest of the food came out. Um, these croquettes look amazing. Take a look at these. And then over here we have our wings. All right, Maggie is getting rowdy. So she's gonna try a little buttered noodle. Here. Right. So I'm gonna try the croquettes. They have a little sauce that comes with them. Tastes like a like a mustard sauce. Mm. These are delicious. It's like corned beef, 
sauerkraut and Swiss cheese all mixed in together and deep fried. Can't go wrong. So I'm gonna try my food for you guys and I'm gonna tell you how it is. It's delicious. If you have little kids or big kids, they could get this or they could get fish because this is a good place. They eat here. I'm gonna try a wing. Okay. So how are these wings, Des? They're good. I knew they were gonna be good. It is pretty much just like a spicy buffalo sauce, but it's good buffalo sauce. All right, so I noticed on their menu they had that uh, mead. So I've been wanting to try it since I am in Virginia and it's a very popular drink from the colonial times. So this is called Ika Lika Mead. So I'm gonna try it, it comes in this tiny little glass. Oh, it's very interesting. It's, you definitely taste the honey. Slightly carbonated, not very much. Almost tastes more like a wine um, than anything else. But it's, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know if I'd be able to drink this all day, all day and all night, kind of like the colonial times. I feel like it would make you sick because of all the sugar that's in it. It's very sweet. But very interesting to be able to try something like that. We are on our way out of Colonia Williamsburg. The food at Dog Street Pub was amazing. Um, I wish we had more space to eat more and try more things. Um, the mead, I don't know, take it or leave it. Um, it was an interesting thing to try, to be able to try something that, you know, was a very famous drink back in the day. Um, would I drink like a bottle or two of it? Okay, Probably so not. Right so, um, but yeah, it was good. It was a nice experience. So it's very hot today. Uh, we're gonna head back to our hotel, uh, well, our resort, and hit the pool and chill out for the rest of the day.